Alright, I have no idea what I was saying in that video, but if I had to guess, it was something like, I just woke up, this is what time it is, there's people in the parking lot, it's probably just useless information. <laughs> Okay, I changed clothes. I took the posters off the thing. Oh, I still need to get my bike off. Top of the car. Because um, the bike was sleeping on the inside for the last few nights, but since I do, I didn't even put it like on the bike rack correctly. I just threw it up there and then threw a light a lock on it. But. I don't think any of the shops are open yet. So I guess I'll just try to find like a, somewhere on the beach to um, to eat some breakfast and I don't know, maybe just wash the shore or something like that, I don't know. Cause I'm really trying to buy some, like a shirt or something, but nobody's open, I can't do that. Got it. Oh yeah, and it started raining. So. I'm wearing like all the long sleeve things I have right now. A long sleeve t-shirt, my sweatshirt that I just bought, and then my jacket. So I was just driving along, trying to find somewhere to uh, eat my cereal, and I think I found a uh, pretty good spot. A little bench, but uh. I was sitting on that bench over there, and on my way back to the car, I realized that I had seen this view before, and then that is the uh, Bushes house. Like the, the former president. That's where, uh, that's where he lives. I think it stopped raining for now. Um, looks like I'm gonna get to a free port about 10 today, so. Hopefully some stuff will be open for me to do, but I don't really have that much uh, scheduled to do in Maine. I'm in Freeport, Maine. It's only about an hour drive from from a kind of bunk port, but um, all the shops here open at a uh, 10, and um, it's 10. So I'm at the first LL Bean store. Uh, ever. I was wrong, that was actually the outlet store where <clears throat> everything's like marked off or whatever, but this whole like complex right here, there's like five different buildings. Um, that's all the original like store. But I think that is the the main one. Yeah, that's like a hunting and fishing store, and then there's the, like the retail store, and there's a uh, canoeing store. I think this is the first one, but it's like this huge complex. <laughs> 
Alright, uh, I think I'm basically done with Freeport now. I only spent, I spent less than an hour here, but there's not much to do in this uh, city. But I am moving on to um, where I'm spending the night tonight, which is that uh, lake house. I'm going to be spending a lot of time there uh, tonight because it's a freaking lake house for free. Um, like I've got the whole thing to myself too. So I'm gonna go there and then I'll probably, uh, I'll probably go to the end of I-95, which is not too far from where I'm staying, maybe like an hour or two, um, which goes, it goes straight into Canada. Um, but that's kind of the point of the trip is to do one end of I-95 to the other. Uh, Just found the key so I get myself in and oh my gosh this is sweet like like you walk out the back door and you take like just like a couple steps and then it's just a lake like right like right there <laughs> Yeah, this is a sweet house. We got so many stuff, so much stuff. We don't know where it is. Here's one side of the lake, and then there's the other. Boy, this thing is sweet. It is <clears throat> freezing in here. So I'm about to get off my sweatshirt back on. And also, the only pants I brought are these black jeans. And they don't really go with the, uh, <clears throat> these boots, but it's so cold and wet. And my shoes are soaked. So, I'm not really going for uh, fashion at this point. Hey, I guess I can go look around, but oh yeah, I haven't eaten either. It's like one o'clock and one thirty. Still need to uh, get some lunch at some point, but maybe just have to wait till dinner. <laughs> Okay, I was just sitting here um, for about 20 minutes trying to figure out what my the rest of the trip is going to look like um, when I'm spending the night, stuff like that, when I'm getting home. Um, but I'm just so hungry. I'm going to have to go back to town to get something to eat. And I was thinking about how far it is to the end of I-95, which, which is where it goes into Canada. And it's about a 
two hour drive. So instead of doing it tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna find something to eat, drive about four hours, then come back here. Um, spend the night. I just went over to this uh, random looking restaurant. It was one of the only three restaurants within 30 minutes of where I was. And the other one was a Chinese place, and the other one was like an olive garden. So. Okay, um. So now, <clears throat> it's about 2.45. I am going to the end of I-95, so that tomorrow, all I have to do is just leave the lake house. It goes straight to uh, Canada. I don't have to go north. I can just go straight to uh, wherever I'm going. I don't know where I'm going in Canada. I mean, I do. I have it written down, but I don't know where yet. See, I would film some more of me uh, driving, but it all just looks the same. Like, I'm just... Like, that's what outside looks like basically the whole way. And then I'm just sitting here just... something wrong with my eye though. It hurts so bad right there. I, I don't know what happened though. It hurts to like blink. I don't even know. Like that's all I do is just blink and apparently I strained a muscle or in my eyelid from blinking too much. Try to pretend we're not different. Like that's something that you would see like a bear on from like a couple hundred yards away and you'll be like you'll like look out and you're like oh look there's a bear you know and I'm like well that's kind of like what bear grills or something would do and then and then I'll, I'll, I also had the thoughts of like that's not gonna happen we're not even near where bear grills and the man versus wild we're not even near that yes we are when bear grills flies somewhere and parachutes to some nowhere place to survive this is where he goes i'm here like there's a bears and moose and freaking serial killers and walter white everything's out here like this is where he goes the only thing near me right now is this interstate because look what's that way what is what's that way trees what's this way well, the other interstate, and beyond that, trees. Like, I looked on a map. There, it, I go about 35 miles where there, there are no exits. So if I run out of gas, I'm, I'm hanging out in Maine for a while before 
for I mean, I guess unless some nice person wants to stop and pick me up, I'm walking 35 miles to get back. And I'll probably take at least a day. Like, it's so creepy. Like, driving down here, just like, this is the first person I've seen behind me, like, in at least an hour. This is person coming up behind me, but, because I've just been driving out here just by myself just for like, for at least, for like the two hours it took to get to the I-95, I passed maybe two people. That's the first time I've ever seen an interstate have the speed limit of 75. Like, all it is is just straight. <clears throat> well, the plan was for me to drive straight from Bangor, Maine, which is where I am now, to Montreal tomorrow. But, but I need like a sticker or like a shirt or something from Maine because I want one. And so when I left Kennebunkport this morning, I left early because I was like, well, all these shops are here. They're going to be in the other places also. And I left at like 8 this morning and they were, they didn't open till 10. I was like, oh, I don't really want to sit around and wait until uh, 10 o'clock. Wait around for two hours. You know? So I'm about to have to drive back to Kennebunkport tomorrow. Another two hour plus drive, I think it's like two and a half hour drive, and then go to Montreal. So I'm about to have to just drive backwards to where I just was. I'm not really looking forward to that, but. All right, again, I started whispering during this video, um, I, and then I never watched it to see if you could actually hear it, so I'm just gonna narrate to say, you know, what's going on. I just said it's nine o'clock. I'm laying down uh, in bed in the lake house. And then I give like a little um, recap of where I was after, you know, I was driving, I went straight to dinner and I had dinner at a, another local place like that. And then after that, I went back to the lake house and I just relaxed on the couch and I was just on my laptop just, um, just hanging out for a while. I ended up getting uh, in bed pretty early since I didn't sleep very well um, in my car the previous night and I did a lot of stuff that day. So I got in bed pretty early.